So now that your arrows in your HubSpot accounts are authenticated, what you can do from within HubSpot deal or ticket objects is create arrows plans and share them with customers without having to leave HubSpot. So anytime you access a deal or ticket, in this case, I'm using a HubSpot deal to manage my onboarding process, you'll be able to access this arrows card that's in the right sidebar. Now it might get stuck at the bottom of this when you first set up your authentication. So you can drag it and drop it to the top so that it's locked in place. And then second, what you wanna do is make sure your deals have a deal owner and a contact. The deal owner is you, the coordinator of the plan, the person who's gonna be working that customer onboarding or implementation from your side. And the contact's gonna be the main point person on your customer side who you'll be working with. Once we create the plan, you can also add additional participants either on your side or your customer side who'll also be collaborating on that plan. So once you're ready to get started, you'll hit this create plan button from the arrows card. And in the screen that pops up, you can choose the plan type you wanna create for that customer. These are based off of those templates you've already created in your arrows dashboard. You can also create a blank template and start from scratch. So I'm gonna pick this large firm onboarding and the coordinator is pre-filled based on that deal owner. You can update this as well if you'd like. And if you hit create plan, the next screen will take you to the start and target dates. If your template has these start and target dates already pre-filled, they will be pre-populated here. You can also update them as needed. And then last, you'll be asked to confirm that point person. Again, this is that deal contact that was just in the HubSpot deal. At this stage, no emails will be sent to the point person. We do recommend eventually introducing the intent of the plan, whether that's on your kickoff call or via email. And I'll share some templates in this write-up to help you do so. But don't worry at this stage, no emails will be sent. So if you hit go to plan, you can now see the plan that's been created off of that template. You can edit any of the settings for that specific plan. This won't update any of your template settings. You can add additional tasks if needed. And if you go back to the preview tab, you can give it a once over before sending it to any further customers. Now, if you wanna share it with additional participants, you can use the share button here type in someone's full name and email, and then that will send them an invite to the plan. Or if you have your settings to allow for plan sharing with the URL, you can also just copy and share this plan directly. Once you've added any extra participants, if you need, you can also from within this view, add due dates to specific tasks, assign tasks to participants on the plan, whether those are internal folks or people from your customer side. And you can add additional comments in here if you wanna notify people specifically about extra details on a task. Keep in mind that adding comments or assigning tasks will trigger those email notifications. So if you haven't introduced the idea of the plan quite yet, maybe hold off on doing those pieces. And so just like that, you've created a plan, you can edit the plan, you can add additional participants, and you can view the plan all right from within HubSpot. And if you head back out of here, it'll take you back to that main deals page. And you will notice that this arrows card is now updated with information about the plan. As customers make progress, that progress will also be updated in this view.